in this video, we're going to have a quick look at the PFSense console, which we can access very easily in a virtual environment. But when we access it on a physical appliance, we need to use a USB cable, so a USB 2 or 3 to a mini USB, which fits into the front of most PFSense appliances, especially those from NetGate. So we can see here that we've got 17 options. The, the interesting ones are, of course, to, to reboot and to configure IP addresses, but we can also go to the command line and get a shell where we can do things that you'd expect to be able to do on a Linux-like machine. It's PFC, uh, it's uh, FreeBSD, so don't get upset, I know, uh, but we can do these kinds of things here. Get back, we hit exit. We could have locked ourselves out, and that's another common reason to come back to this console to disable the firewall, for example, to allow us to get back in. Of course, we'd have to take into account that the firewall could be live and it could be connected to the internet and dropping the firewall rules may be a bad idea. Now, actually, we're not dropping the rules. We're just disabling the firewall and then we can re-enable it straight away afterwards. So if we go back to the shell, if we type tfctl minus d, and we've disabled the firewall, we'd be able to gain access back to the PFSense again, fix our problem, come back here, PFCTL minus E, and it's re-enabled again. Other things we can do here, are, if, especially for troubleshooting, are to restart services that may have failed because of lack of resources. So option 16 to restart PHP FPM, to restart the web configurator, that's the web portal that we go to, is option 11. So we can use option 15, restore recent configuration. I'll show you what that looks like. Option 15, if we do number one, we can see all of our options. The most recent ones are those at the bottom, as you can see from the timestamps. And we just choose number two. To restore a backup, we'd specify the number that we want to go back to, uh, and then we'd be able to reboot the system, and the configuration would be as it was when PFSense took that backup for us. These are not backups that we've created necessarily. They're the backups that PFSense has made when we press apply to a change that we've made. Excellent. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much.